three, two, one, go. Hey guys, what is up? John here today, here with Nick out at Picnic Strip in the Knick, beautiful place. Today we are comparing two airplanes, of course, the Bearhawk Patrol and your airplane. PA-18 Super Cub. PA-18 Super Cub, 0320, yep. 160 horse. Perfect. Let's see how they do. All right, so we are standing next to a glacier. It is uh, July, but it is cold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so first up, you guys know how this works. We are doing a takeoff together, wingtip to wingtip takeoff. We're going to see who breaks ground first, who gets up to a thousand feet first. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Next up is slow flight. How slow can you fly? Eh, 38. Pretty slow. Hour, roughly. 30 Fairly something slow. miles an hour. Yeah. We'll see how fast the Bearhawk can fly. We are going to do this off of ground speed because of course our indicator speeds are both gonna be 20, 25, zero, whatever. Not accurate at these angles of attack. So we are going to get these things slow down, hang on the prop with flaps and see basically what the ground speed is that we break at. Cool, I'm just gonna hang it on the prop. You can do whatever you do to uh, make it fly as slow as possible. Yeah, I got 45 miles an hour now. Showing 46, 45 over the ground. Looks like I'm gonna break right around 39 or 40. I got 42. Got about the rate right at 38. Bump to 38, nice. Yeah, just about maybe about two miles an hour faster or so than you. And next up is fast flight, so fixed pitch prop. Correct. And 25.50, you're saying, is? 25.50. Yep. yep, a pretty fast cruise for you yep. uh, on 31 bush wheels. Correct. You've got 26 good years. They call them Mickey Mouse tires up here, um, or at least Stephanie does. Um, they work, though. They work quite well. We get into most of the same places everybody else does. And I'm going to run this thing up 24 squared, about 11 gallons an hour. We'll see how we do. Cool. Well, the spinner up 25.50, and I'll do uh, 24 squared, and let's see uh, what we get for ground speed. All right, cool. Up here, right here, I'm showing uh, about 11 gallons an hour, doing about 125, 26 uh, miles an hour of the ground. Okay, I'm right at uh, 8 gallons an hour, doing 108 miles an hour. Well, let me pour it back to 8 gallons an hour and see what I get. Well, that's the interesting thing. I'm doing 8 gallons an hour, I'm doing 109 miles an hour. Okay, you got 4 miles an hour on me. And finally, it's going to be a power off glide. So we'll see who glides farther. This thing is not known for gliding, uh, at least in the other two comparisons we've done so far. So we'll see how well it does. Shorter wing, 33 foot wingspan. What do you got for wingspan? 36, 30 Roughly. something? Yeah, a bigger wing. Yeah. Cub wing, a PA-18 wing, whatever that it is. Floats. Google it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that kind of wingspan. So we will see how this guy does uh, coming down here. We'll start about 1800 feet, chop powered idle, and come on down. All right, power idle. about 900 feet a minute. Going through 900. 
and there's 800 for me. I got 200 feet to go. And lastly, it's going to be the landing. So, mini stroll competitions? Yeah, first here, one. Here and there, first one? Okay, first perfect. One. Yeah, well, <laughs> I uh, have, yeah, not many under my belt either. So, we'll see how we do here. We'll pick some arbitrary point out here on the gravel. We'll use that as a line, so to speak. We'll see who gets down uh, first and, or well, obviously after the line, who gets down and also who gets stopped shorter. Uh, thanks to Stephanie for flying the drone on this one. Uh, yeah, there's a kind of a bush there where there's a fork um, where it's real wide and it kind of gets skinny and then winds out again. Yeah, I like that. Let's uh, yeah, let's use that and um, that sounds good. I'll uh, I'll go first. I'll pull off and then basically just see if you can get stopped for me. Okay, sounds good. Okay, cool. Right in between those two bushes. Got it. Yeah, I kind of, I guess I would have scratched on that one if we were actually counting it. <laughs> All right, so that was it. Yeah. Take away, uh, take off. Uh, how did you break ground? You broke ground a little bit before me, maybe? Yeah, maybe a little bit. And then you kind of were building up some speed there. Correct. And you took off like a rocket. I was, uh, I was <laughs> going. Um, 20 more horsepower, different prop. Um, yeah. That constant speed prop spinning up 2700 RPM, that thing pulls hard. Yeah. Um, that carbon fiber prop is, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's expensive. Um, it's like 14 grand. Um, <laughs> It's, it pulls really hard, yeah. though. It's uh, definitely a good propeller. So we got up there. I got 2,000 feet a little bit before you. Yeah. And then slow flight, surprisingly enough, uh, this was pretty slow. They were pretty darn close. This one's got such bigger flaps. than the Bigger cup flaps. Too, so. I was holding there, 40 flap, a ton of power, hanging on the prop, um, and broke right about 40 yeah. miles an hour. So you broke about 38. Yeah. So uh, the one thing I will say is I'm never coming in. I mean, obviously, you're not coming in full power, hanging on the prop like that. It's not remotely safe or practical. So yeah, I'm coming in still at 45, you know, several miles an hour over that. Um, and Safety margin. Yeah, smaller ailerons on the Bearhawk compared to the Cub. Cub's great, low speed control from whatever I'm flowing them. Uh, lots of aileron on there. Smaller flaps. These things are huge flaps. Yeah. Um, and then we did the fast flight, 2550. Mm -hmm. You were booking along pretty good, yeah. um, but you were on eight gallons an hour and I was on 11. And so uh, you were about 108 and I think I was seeing yeah, one, it, I was doing 108, and then it was about 105. So okay, so. this is where you're kind of hanging out, and yeah. I got up to about like 120s, you know, mid 120s there, um, on 11 gallons an hour. Pulled it back to 8 gallons an hour, let it slow down, and yeah, hanging about 108. Um, you're hanging about 105 or so, so pretty close. Uh, yeah. Once you pull them back to the same, uh, and part of that is, I mean, I mean, this prop is. It's meant to like go and pull and it works really well. It's a ton of drag, and that's what we keep finding out. Like on the next one, on the power off glide thing just comes down yeah um and it's really this air brake out in front sure. i don't think it's necessarily the airframe but this prop makes you come down yeah um which is cool in a way it's actually pretty cool um but yeah it's definitely not not gliding <laughs> like the other stuff out there and then finally the landing and this is the funny thing right so this is what nick does for a living he flies basically cubs stole aircraft bush planes and lands out in places like this this is what we do on videos um so yeah for a living very different right stole competitions and making youtube videos slightly different than doing it for a living hey, it's all right um so yeah needless to say i'm coming in trying to hit that bush and um holding it on the prop way nose high no forward visibility and touchdown before my point and if that was actually the real world and we didn't have a whole bunch of gravel behind us i would have put the plane in some water or something probably and flipped it over so Although you see these stole competitions and guys land in 60 some feet, well, that's all cool. But when we touch before the line in a stole competition, they're like, oh, you scratch or go around or whatever. In the real world, you break your plane. Um, so needless to say- Upside down club. <laughs> yeah, the upside down club. Haven't joined it yet. Don't want to be a member, probably will eventually, <laughs> trying to avoid it at all costs. Um, but anyways, you were kind enough to just say, well, you touched early, so I'll just touch there because when you do this every day for a living, you can actually choose where you touch compared to <laughs> people like me that just go, I think I'm gonna, oh, touched early. Right. So, it was close enough. 
the thing is is if you are playing those close to margins day in and day out it's like yeah you know like we were talking 150 yeah. feet you could land there but if you start really trying to work off a strip sooner or later you're probably going to bend something yeah it's um there's got to be some safety margin and for me all i needed to do for some safety margin was three or four miles an hour more lower the nose a little bit more better visibility better control of the airplane would have actually hit my mark and probably got stopped sooner because i would have been more in control of the airplane anyways um so really hanging it there where you're starting to lose control of the thing just to get every last little mile per hour off of it and get it slower probably not really doing yourself any favors especially in the long run but um all in all fun that was awesome it was cool to see and um we do need to take a quick little look at the airplanes what we've got in the bearhawk right now about 12 15 gallons of gas maybe total uh not a whole lot of gas so that's part of it is pretty light right now but it's loaded up with a bunch of junk in the back and then what do you have for fuel right now I you're just pretty got a full. backpack in the back that 30 some gallons 30 some gallons in there yeah. And um, space-wise, you're a little narrower. A little narrower, a little shorter baggage compartment. And But you got the belly pod. I've got the pod. I do. <laughs> you got the pod, you got the gun scabbard, you got the boot on yep. the wing strut there, you got 31s, you got an airplane that's uh, it's meant to come out here. Yeah. Um, gets the job done. Yeah. Jealous of the belly pod. <laughs> a little jealous of the belly pod. It helps keep the weight a little bit further forward. Yeah. So. Well, very cool. Both sweet airplanes. If you were going to sell that to me right now, so I got a checkbook, right? I don't actually don't. I got Steph's checkbook. <laughs> um, Steph's holding the camera, by the way. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, so what's your buy it now price? What can I have that airplane for? Uh, you see them in that condition going for 80 to 90,000. Yeah, yeah, every bit of it really. Give or take. Yeah, yes, yeah, so about probably 90 grand the way things are right now. Yeah. I'll um, take it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of business Cam wrapped up in it. So we get, I'll after, fly it after too. After October. Yeah. <laughs> Camera girl says she'll take the plane for yeah. 90. Yeah. <laughs> Sold. Um, and then, of course, this thing, we say it's worth price sitting around 140, 150, um, possibly 160, just depending on how uh, you want to look at it. Probably in the 160 ish range, lower engine times, all that sort of stuff. Um, based on the fact there's one going for 140 right now. It was built in 2014, and this is a 2019. So, probably up in that 140 to 160 range sitting around 90 and um yeah really cool airplane what year 1972 1972 pretty new yeah i'll give you 90 for it um <laughs> that's a deal uh anyways thanks so much yeah. nick ton of fun yeah, you guys know absolutely. what to do like the video over there subscribe right down by nick over in that area and we will see you guys in the next airplane comparison video